TJ, at the age of just 15, lives in a homeless refuge, but this bright young girl has a special story to tell of how Rugby League and Father Chris Riley's Youth Off The Streets school changed her world. After a tough upbringing, the Cabramatta youngster joined Father Chris Riley's chapel school in Maryland and found herself taking part in the NRL's In League In Harmony program, currently rolled out within schools across Sydney's west and southwest, that is now offered through the Youth of the Streets program. TJ joined her fellow peers and kids from Evans High Blacktown, Granville Boys High, Homebush Boys High and Condal Park High School to show off their newly developed league tag skills at the NRL's In League In Harmony Gala Day. I was brought up in the West, Cabramatta. I had a bad upbringing. I chose the bad people and then I got into my chapel school and that kind of changed around and that's when I got involved with the NRL. The gala day marks the culmination of the program that includes both activities in the classroom and on the football field. One community ambassador and league legend Hazamel Masri is the program coordinator and has spent time mentoring these students over the course of its rollout. He says they have managed to reach a wide range of kids, teaching them about respectful relationships, spreading the eat well, play well, stay well message and promoting anti-bullying. Some of them are sort of on borderline of you know, uh, maybe a bit of trouble, so hopefully needed some bit of, um, you know, guidance. Um, others are sort of good kids, uh, you know, just needed a bit of leadership. Um, um, others are just, you know, quiet kids and they just needed maybe a bit of encouragement to be able to sort of just, you know, speak out and that. So um, really we've had a different mixture of, of, of kids and they've all been fantastic, listening well and, um, and, and participating. We all meet up, we all do skills and we all like we all talk, we all learn about like sportsmanship and friendships and bullying and stuff and it's helped me and my mates have like a better relationship at times. Bulldogs player Helen Ala Alatoa popped down to the gala day at Lidcombe Oval for a visit as did the Mayor of Auburn City Council. Part of my role at Auburn City Council is to look after the issues that we have in the Auburn area which are of course the youth. Having the gala itself here is just unbelievable. I mean, a diverse area such as Auburn, which I call myself the United Nations of, of New South Wales, is, is great to have such a, a myriad of kids that come here and play a you know, sport that helps them do things and, and keep their minds rested with respect of day-to-day -day life rather than being on the streets. Ongoing program partner Creating Brighter Career Connections also attended to provide information and support for the students. Our real goal is to um, aim at kids who need the support and um, you know, we sort of provide our services to them specifically and particularly in this region it's been really beneficial for students helping them further engage in their education. TJ joined around 130 students on the day as they graduated from the NRL's program. She now aspires to play league tag and rates herself quite a talent. Well, nah, I'm a good player. I'm, I'm pretty cool. I scored a couple of tries here and there, but yeah, it's about the team, not me. Amy Lindsell, NRL News.